Hi everyone, a uh, couple of things I want to share with you prompted by what I've seen online this morning. It's Sunday when I'm recording this and as I was scrolling through Facebook, I saw a post come up for um, someone who a while ago uh, used, uh, talked about marketing for some help as part of their mix of people they've got around them and I just noticed a post in which the only caption was three smiley emojis and the image was of three people uh, jumping up midair right next to each other at the beach. And I noticed that this was shared using an automated social media tool, uh, Meet Edgar. Now here's the thing, a tool is only as good as the way it's used and the attraction of that tool that says, oh, if you're too busy, but you still want to keep doing social, we'll do it. We'll use artificial intelligence. Well, let me tell you, that was artificial dumbness on every single level. The caption was meaningless and the photo was showing behavior exactly opposite from what the government and health authorities want us to embrace at the moment. There was no value in that post other than a negative value to say this brand is not caring and this brand is flouting any concern about uh, flattening the curve when it comes to uh, COVID-19. It was terribly sad to see that happen. So I have reached out and shared my opinion with uh, the people behind this small company so that they can take some corrective action. Here's the thing. We are in times where many people in business are nervous about where their income is coming from, how they can adapt. All right. We're all adapting to help each other through. And in some businesses, it's going to be a little bit easier than in others. But um, a few thoughts that I want to leave with you. Firstly, this is going to be a very challenging time as we make decisions about what we need to do. Do we need to get some rapid solutions in place to pivot, to have more integration online with uh, meetings, uh, with um, e-commerce, with payment? Uh, is that going to be really important for you and your business at the moment? And the other one is, do we use some or all of our time instead to be like a squirrel that has been hoarding its uh, its build up of acorns over the time. Are we going to use this time to actually prepare and get lots of thought, strategy, action and content in place for when we come out on the other side? Not everyone's going to have the means uh, or the headspace for doing that. And I want to just note on things like headspace. If you have been engaged with uh, any sort of therapy, do your best to keep going. Uh, if your therapist is now offering you the ability to do this online, please take it up wherever possible, because that's going to be important. Aside from that, um, we need to be uh, all aware of how we're tracking uh, psychologically, mentally. And so the danger I see at the moment, and I've been in this game a long time, 20 years, I've been running social media workshops and online training for 15 years. I ran the first ones for business ever in South Australia. So I've seen lots of things come and go. I'm also familiar with this thing called uh, shiny new toy syndrome, where something new comes along and we grab it. Uh, luckily, I think I'm over that, mostly. Uh, I'm still human like everybody else. My worry is, there are people crawling out from under rocks everywhere, suddenly putting free courses on or cheap courses or luring you with special deals and offers. I mean, even when I saw uh, Microsoft make their Teams uh, package available free of charge for six months, it's helpful if you read it that way. It's clever if you read it in a cynical way, and I'm not saying this was governed by cynicism, but in six months, your habits will become rusted on to this tool and then the fees resume. Uh, so what am I saying? I'm saying this. These are my two things I want to share with you. 
be very careful as you react to these opportunities that present themselves and just think through with some degree of uh, strategic endeavour to see how does this fit my needs now and in the long term and have I got the wherewithal to cope with learning new things? Uh, so to jump on courses and start doing new things yourself could actually be counterproductive because there's always a uh, mental um, cost when we learn things that are new. And we should always be learning when things are new. But at this time where we might have diminished depth of resources psychologically, there will be extra stress from that. So let me be clear, I'm encouraging you to embrace any new things that need embracing to see you through, absolutely. But please be mindful, there's a lot of things that shine and grab our eye that may or may not be the best choice uh, for use of your time. Uh, the other thing is uh, I've been talking to a number of my clients and trying to get around to everyone to say, let's get through this if you need some help and things are tough at the moment. Let's see what we can do to get you through. Uh, one of the things Michael and I have done is gravitate towards using uh, tools like Zoom, which I'm recording this in, uh, to be readily available uh, for quick online consultations. 60 bucks uh, for 20 minutes of bouncing ideas back and forth to you know, size up whether some online uh, tools uh, are going to be worthwhile to you. And I'll be very clear, as I mentioned to a client this morning, my absolute goal is to make sure that you are helped. Yes, I need to earn a living too. But if you come across something that's helpful, I am not going to steer you away from that. Uh, but having seen many things come and go, there are going to be times when I say, you know what, I'm not sure this is the best use of your time at the moment. So uh, if, if you wish to, please uh, make use of that, uh, those short, rapid fire, 20 minute moments where you can just bounce ideas and thoughts uh, off of uh, some wise old heads that have been around a while, but still very much uh, with their finger on the pulse of where things are. Uh, another of my clients has been using these sessions to get feedback on uh, some blogs that she's writing and some content that she's been creating and using these little pinch hits so that she keeps momentum but she's also keeping tight reins on what she's spending with uh, outside help. I think that's very prudent. So uh, the long and short of this is we are in a difficult situation, all of us, a challenge, uh, which means opportunity and uh, if you've got trusted people around you, whether you've got someone else, you're not one of my long-term clients, you've got someone else who's been with you a long time, seems to know their stuff, what are they suggesting? This is the time where relationships uh, come to the fore of uh, trust and experience. So please make use of them uh, as you move forward. Uh, my challenge to myself now is to, uh, once I stop recording this and share it, to also build this within a blog post on my site as I uh, make use of some of my time uh, to craft some articles that really act as um, compass pointers, if you like, to help us keep that focus on true north as a Stephen Covey uh, always says as we um, navigate through this process. So <sighs> onwards and upwards um, is what we say. And as I've mentioned before with Oscar Wilde, he's got a lovely quote about all of us are in the gutter, but some of us uh, have our eyes set on the stars. And I think that's going to be one of those little sayings uh, to keep my spirits high as we go through this time of change. And who knows what new things are going to come out of this, especially opportunities for collaboration that might never have existed before. So rant over. Um, please, if you're using any automated tools, keep them on a tight rein during this time so that they don't do damage to your brand while you're not looking uh, in response for supposedly some quick fixes and some easy way outs. Easy way outs often should set the uh, little alarms going that something's being skimped in the mix. Anyway, apart from that, I'm gonna go out for a walk now. We've got to keep looking after the engine uh, and uh, keep things fresh. All the best. <laughs>